Hello Cancer, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It means that other people can benefit from the channel. This is going to be your monthly reading for August. We have boundaries. Family. And love. Now this could be here to do with your family. Now not everybody's got a family. Some people might be your soul tribe, it could be your friends, whoever you consider your support network to be. But we're talking about soul tribe energy here, the people that support you in life. And it's to do with your boundaries here. So we need to be looking at our boundaries with love. Now it could be that we might have to look at self-preservation here in a sense. It could be that we're over giving to people within our networks and we're maybe not getting the same back. So we're looking at boundaries here. Always love is, we can love families, our friends, it's wonderful feeling, but we've also got to have self-love. So what we're looking at here is our boundaries. So this is a more about self-love for me than anything else. So how you're dealing with your relationships, where your boundaries lie, what you're prepared to put up with here, are you giving more than you're receiving? Okay, so we will just take three cards, Spirit, please, to show me clearly. Then I'll clarify them and give you a message. The King of Swords. The Nine of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. So what we've got here is we've got the King of Swords, which is somebody who is coming from an intellectual place. Now, he's somebody who's very clear in his boundaries. He can speak up. He can communicate. There could be news coming in from someone as well that's going to help you look at your boundaries or give you reason to look at your boundaries. So this is Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy. It could be somebody with that uh, star sign or a birth sign or somebody with that in their chart. doesn't have to be. It could be that you're dealing with somebody within your family who is a, uh, who, I beg your pardon, is a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius energy. Now, this person could be saying something to you as well that's going to make you have to speak up here. So this could be somebody coming to you or you having to do it. Now, there's anxiety or overthinking. You're feeling overwhelmed to do with a family situation, a soul tribe situation. It's something with, like I say, within your relationships. Don't expect the worst here. Yeah, it's anxiety. Remember, fear of speaking up can be here as well. It could change things. Fear is an illusion. But once this is all said and the boundaries are re-established or established, whatever this may be for you, there's going to be self-love. You're going to heal. The situation is going to bring it on, bring things onto a brand new beginning for growth. So there could be anxiety uh, of some sort within your relationships here that need to be clarified. They need to be cleared up here. Somebody might be pushing your buttons here. Yeah, see there's a new world cycle, the world card here, the strength card, this is Leo energy. So, you know, you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with that in their star sign and the eight of swords. Now, what you're doing here is you're overthinking this. What Spirit's saying is always listen to your intuition, but this is about self-love. You have the right to speak up. If somebody's pushing your boundaries, don't overthink it. This is a self-made prison. You, you know, you're worrying about this. Uh, don't be concerned because if you show the courage and the strength here um, to speak up or clarify things or state your boundaries, whatever we may be doing here within our relationships, you uh, you will start this brand new chapter. There's great things going to become of this. Now, this could be as well. It could be that you're meeting somebody new here. It could be a new start. It could be that you're wanting to do something, create something, and you're not getting supported through it. People are not sure if you're doing the right thing. So it's up to you here to stand up and bring in this, be, be courageous and bring in this new life chapter because there's beautiful brand new beginnings for growth within your relationships or growth for you in any area of your life. Now, this, for example, could be you moving out your home, leaving your parents and your families about, oh, yeah, you sure you should be going, all that type of thing. But this is about you having the strength to start down a new creative path for yourself that's going to start a brand new chapter in your life. So it's time to speak up. It's time to look at your boundaries. Be strong. Be determined here. Stick to your guns. Look, if it's self-love, then you've got to do what's right for you. If it's any other kind of love um, that you're having, if it's for others, you will establish better boundaries. Protection. Beautiful card. Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magic fairy ring of love and light. It's all about love here. 
Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So connect in with your angels here. Um, you might want to meditate because they're trying to connect in with you to help you with this situation. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.